Hey guys, what's up? It's Dave, again, here for another video. And today we are running the new 4S Arma cars, version two. These are a ton of fun. If you were around a couple years ago, they had a version one and they were a ton of fun. Um, so without further ado, Let's jump into this beating. All right, I got to take three vehicles out. Not only the two Armas, the two new 4S Armas, but the Traxxas Max 4S, which I have no personal experience with. So this was actually a ton of fun to run all three of these vehicles, all brand new uh, to me anyway. And the 4S arm was obviously just new in general. Um, and I gotta say, all three of them impressed me. And I gotta be honest, I put the Outcast through it absolute beating, for sure. And I hope that we are able to release all the video from the whole bash session of running this truck because I was amazed that it was still going by the end. I mean, from jumping it, sending it as high as I possibly could, jumping it as far as I could. Uh, there was a cool little like ramp down, flat ramp down. I'm not good with skate terms, <laughs> but then there was a rail and it's perfect. You can jump up this ramp and land on the rail, do a little grind, and jump off. I managed to pull it off twice and did it a couple other times. It was pretty sloppy. But a lot of the times, I missed terribly. And I am very surprised that it didn't break. I don't know how it didn't break. There was a lot of good hard hits, not only with landing hard, um, but also land, slamming into the, the wall, slamming into the rail. I mean, there was so much abuse that I put that outcast through. And it is the shortest of the three vehicles, but it is wider than the Max. Both the Arma cars are actually wider than the Max. So it handles extremely well and does all kinds of fun flips. And the shape of it, or at least being shorter wheelbase, actually gives you a little bit of wiggle room to rock it back and forth a little bit and actually self ride it. So that is something that the Max can also do. The Creighton, not so much. The Creighton is pretty flat on top, pretty long. So once it gets upside down, it is done. Um, there is no self writing it. So having two vehicles that I can kind of self write and one that I couldn't was kind of a bummer at times when you're in, when you're at a skate park or just anywhere and you're lazy and you don't want to walk over there. <laughs> but, um, Moving on, so the 4S Outcast, I mean, absolutely took a beating. They beefed up a lot of stuff on these trucks, on these 4S Arma cars. They got metal ring and pinions. They got beefed up drive shafts now. And again, they're, the arms are much wider than any of their other 3S vehicles. And the Outcast actually falls kind of in between the size of the 6S cars. So it's a good, good size. The plastic chassis is basically the same chassis that they use for their other brushed and 3S cars. So with these three vehicles, I actually did a couple little tests and Took them to a skate park, beat the crap out of them, but started out going to one skate park, really only ran the max, and I think beat on it pretty good, but 
still trying to kind of save it, but felt that it took the took the beating that I that I dished out um, that that first time. And then later in the day, I went out to a parking lot, did a little bit of parking lot bashing with all three vehicles, kind of wanted to test the handling ability and just see how fast they were gonna go. I did bring a GPS, but I guess I was a little unprepared and better died. So unfortunately you won't see an official speed, at least not this time, maybe we'll do something later in the future. But um, yeah, so. For now, just watch. They go pretty fast. Uh, they say that they'll do about 50 to 60 miles an hour. All three of them pretty much right around there. But I really wanted to test the, the handling of these things with the Arma cars actually being wider than the Max. The, the Creighton is about the same wheelbase. The Outcast is a little bit shorter. So naturally the Outcast wants to just ride wheelies which is fun. Um, if you're going to skate parks, you can do plenty of flips and all kinds of stuff. And the way that where this wheelie bar is on the Outcast, you could ride a wheelie for days. You could ride a wheelie across the parking lot and it's a ton of fun, a ton of fun. Now, to test and see how they handle at speeds and see how much what they're gonna flip and do, I wanted to get them going as fast as they could go and then just turn the wheel and watch them tumble. So the Max took a good tumble. I mean, it definitely did take a little bit of work to get it to flip. Um, I mean, for the most part with the TSM, you know, all that kind of stuff, it's supposed to stop that from happening, but. I just got up to speed, let off the throttle, turned the wheel, and just watched them flip or spin. The The concrete that I was running on was a little bit slick, so they did kind of slide around, which was still fun. Um, but the Max, I think, took the worst of the flips, worst of the tumbles, but by all means, I mean, it, it's still going, it didn't break. Uh, not that I necessarily expected it to break just from doing that. The Outcast and Creighton, the Creighton, I really had to work to make that thing flip. Uh, I'd get it up to speed, turn the wheel, do the same thing that I did with the Max, and it just wanted to spin. I mean, I had to gas it, hit the brake, gas it, hit the brake, kind of get it to really throw itself off, or ride a wheelie and just kind of let it do its thing. And then it would obviously flip, but it really handled really well. I am really impressed. And the Outcast, again, just wants the wheelie, which is still a ton of fun. Um, the Max, yeah, going back to the Max, it felt like it kind of wanted to skate around a little bit more as far as the handling goes, running on this concrete. I don't know if it was maybe because it was wet or damp or what, but the ground was a little bit slick for the trucks. They kind of spun around a little bit more. I mean, I don't know about you. That's team arm all the way. So carrying on this is a little non-biased uh, opinion uh, video, so whatever uh all three trucks are really great i don't i wouldn't turn anybody away from any of these vehicles they're all great and handled everything that i threw at it um so anyway after the parking lot bashing we went to a, another skate park or went to a skate park and i had the goal i mean i it was we are breaking these. None of them are going home in one piece. And I started out running the max and hit some big jumps, did a lot of big stuff. And I will say the max feels like it bottoms out a little bit easier than the Arma cars. 
I know you can adjust for that. These are out of the box, nothing done to them. There's plenty of stuff you can do to them to kind of eliminate that. Now, the armor cars also had a little bit of chassis slap. Didn't sound as bad, uh, but at the end of the day, they're falling from about 15 to 20 feet up to flat concrete. So it's gonna happen. Um, but I mean, I I think that I beat on the, the max. I was sending it as hard and as fast as I possibly could. And in the end, it broke a spur gear. It broke a spur gear. The first time I took it out, it actually had the battery hold down, came off. So um, that happened. There were a couple little things like, like I said, the first time out with the Max, battery hold down, came off. The second time at the skate park, I killed a spur gear, and then out just playing around without the camera going, uh, I actually had the body fall off, which, whatever, it happens. Um, but the upside to the Max is its shape, I mean, the way that it is, you can get it to rock, you can get it to self right, which is great. You know, if you're at a skate park or you're in the parking lot, you know, it, it's great. It's great. And the, then I ran the crate, then I ran the outcast, either way. Then I ran the outcast and I beat the crap out of it. Oh my gosh. I sent it super far. I sent it super high. I jumped it into a pole. I jumped it into this pole and I did everything I possibly could to break it aside from driving at full speed into a parking parking block, curb, into a wall. I mean, I don't know how it didn't break. It was it's amazing. <laughs> so after I ran the outcast, I ran the Creighton and I pretty sure I did everything that I did with the Max. Jumping it as far as I could, jumping it as high as I could. And anytime you are landing hard on concrete, anytime you are running on concrete, even just driving around in the bowl and, you know, just kind of hitting some concrete jumps, it's all abuse on these vehicles, even the smallest little jumps. And all the big jumps that I did, all the things that it went through, all the Creighton broke, was a spur gear. Same as the Max. Now, I will say with the Max, there were some jumps that really surprised me. Um, I cased it pretty hard on, on a couple jumps. There was one jump I was jumping out of the bowl and didn't expect to go as far as it did. It almost got the downside but didn't quite make it to the downside and I actually cased it right at the right at the the edge uh basically like right at that knuckle and it uh surprisingly didn't break I was honestly pretty surprised and then I came back around hit a the quarter pipe jumping into the bowl and actually cased it right on the coping so the fact that that didn't break really really says something um and honestly, it surprised me that it didn't break. And all three of these vehicles, granted, yeah, technically I killed the spur gear on the Creighton and the Max. I was really hoping to leave with parts hanging off, parts missing, and you know. And so in that aspect, it was a little disappointing that I wish I would have broke more, but it's just a testament to how durable these vehicles are. They really handle a lot of stuff. And I mean, I, I don't know what else to say other than the, the footage kind of speaks for itself. You can watch how hard some of these landings are, how hard some of these, these hits are. And I mean, I'll let you decide on which vehicle which vehicle is better? As always, be sure to like, comment, 
whether you're Team Arm or Team Traxxas, subscribe so we can keep smashing more stuff. As of right now, we're over 500 subscribers, so the more subscribers we get, the more stuff we get to break just for your entertainment. So again, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.